Hey there, everybody. Thomas Wood with Basecamp Trading. It is Monday, March 27th, and we're going to take a look at crude oil here. Now, the thing I want to talk about today is how a failed bearish signal can often turn bullish. Okay, so when the market has an opportunity, opportunity to run lower, and it doesn't, it fails, then you can actually a lot of times look for a reversal in the opposite direction. So today, we had a pretty decent setup here in crude oil with this 30 minute bear flag now the first test for a bear flag is can we break through the lowest point of the flag that would have been right down here okay so we trigger the flag as soon as it goes below 47.16 once it goes below 47.16 it has triggered for the short and the first test is can we get to the low down here at 47.08 the lowest point prior to that flag setup now once you have triggered this type of setup a bull or a bear flag it should not ever go back above if it's a bear a bearish setup it should not go back above the high of the consolidation and if it's a bullish setup it should not go back down below the low of the consolidation so in this case the no go zone is what we call it was a break back above 4729 so after triggering it should never go back above 4729 if it does it has failed so we trigger first things first it drops you're in okay shape it heads lower, it runs into the support, and you're paying attention to how it acts when it hits the support. Because if it starts to bounce, you go ahead and get out of it. So let me pull up a shorter time frame chart. This is a 500 tick, showing the same period of time here. Okay, you can see we dropped. Breaking down right here is where we triggered the flag. So we, we drop, set up a bear flag, and drop again. Run right into the support, and immediately turn around, okay? So when that happens, when this spikes back up like that, you immediately close the trade. And if you're using the um, Momentum Trender Pro indicator, that's what this yellow bar means. It means, hey, trail your stop just above that high. It's retracing too much. So it pops up, bounces off that support, so you're right back out of it. Then it goes up and it breaks through the no-go zone. Well, oftentimes when you have a, a bearish signal that's a pretty good setup and it fails, then you look for it to reverse. Failed bearish turns bullish, and the exact opposite happens to the downside. Failed bullish turns bearish. So we know it's failed when it breaks above 47.29. So here's our break above 47.29. Here's a bull flag, and if you look at the momentum at the time when we're breaking out, look at how strong the momentum is going to that breakout. So that gives you the okay to go long, and your stop goes below the previous bar's low on the flag uh, or on the breakout. So that means if you were getting long right over here, your stop would have been down at... Uh, 4724 or 4721 okay just below one of these two bars lows and then you proceed to fairly quickly jump straight back up and just accelerate through the roof all the way up to a high of 4773 before starting to retrace but the point of this video is to tell you okay when you have a failed signal we don't just say all right it's failed now it's time to go long it's you have to say, all right, it's failed. Now, where's the trigger for my entry long? And in this case, the trigger would have been when we broke above into the no-go zone on the flag, and we had this nice resistance break on the 500 tick, and your stop goes below the previous 500 tick bars low. So pay attention again. When you have a bullish setup that fails or you have a bearish setup that fails, watch for a snap reversal in the opposite direction. All right, that's all I have for you for today. I will see you in the trading room bright and early tomorrow morning. If you're not in the trading room, why not? I just go to basecamptrading.com forward slash go. There's a link down below here where you can sign up uh, for an entire month for $7. It's one cup of coffee to come in for a month and see how we trade these live throughout the day. Also, don't forget to click the link to subscribe where you can get daily updates and videos about how these markets move and what the different setups are. So that's it for today. And until next time, happy trading.